food burn organically without the chemicals would definitely help keep starches away, as most of the diseases that we're facing nowadays are closely related to what we eat. But how do we know the way to differentiate all these healthy ingredients or otherwise? Today, we're meeting Penny who will be explaining to us about the ingredients and to stay healthy. Penny, I'm a little bit upset lately because I have this friend, right? She's having high blood pressure and she's only at the mid of 30s. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Uh, in fact, nowadays we are always eating on the run and we don't have enough time to prepare a proper food. What your friend needs is actually a lifestyle change or may go for healthy organic food. Okay, but when it comes to picking the right one, it's always a problem. So how do we differentiate between the refined one and the unrefined ingredient? Oh, it's pretty simple actually. Just take cooking oil for example. Mm -hmm. Unrefined cooking oil such as grapeseed oil, rice bran oil or coconut oil is actually low temperature processed oil. Mm -hmm. It helps to retain its natural nutrients. Unlike those refined oil which already go to a lot of refining process, mm -hmm. takes away all these minerals and vitamins which can actually lead to high cholesterol, heart disease and even stroke. So what about the sugar and the salt? Like those unrefined sugar or uh -huh. Himalaya salt, sea salt go to a very minimal processing which actually retain its nutrients as well as its trace minerals. Like those uh, refined sugar or refined salt, mm -hmm. it actually go to a lot of refining process. So when we eat it, it can cause the body to be acidic and eventually it can lead to cancer. So we talk about cooking oil, we talk about um, salt, sugar and all that. What about the sauces? Normal soy sauce go to a lot of a rapid hydrolysis with the mm -hmm. additives which help to fasten the process as well as to prolong the shelf life. But like organic soy sauce go through natural fermentation with minimum 180 days and without any additives, flavorings and colorings. So talking about this basic ingredients, is white rice and the flour, it's part of it as well? Yes, in fact brown rice is definitely better than white rice in terms of the nutrients. Brown rice is higher in calcium, potassium as well as dietary fiber. Whereas white rice is already going through a lot of refining process, all those minerals, vitamins is already gone. So how do you differentiate? Is it, can we spot it on the packaging or the color itself? Uh, in fact, like wholemeal flour is coarser in texture mm -hmm. and the color is darker in color. Alright, so I think it's pretty clear to me right now to differentiate the unrefined and the refined ingredients. Definitely gonna share it to my friends though. You know what? There are a lot of tasty, healthy, organic cafe in the market. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone will be wiser when picking up food items. After all, we are just what we eat. Yeah, right. Thanks, Penny. Proper processing of unrefined ingredients results in its price, which is then more expensive as compared with refined products. Unrefined products are normally processed properly without chemical added to them. As a result, it brings us health that money cannot buy.